Hey guys, I'm back here for another video, and today I'm going to be doing a non Ninjago theory. Now, this one is. It's too close to when. We'll have our view. Our, our video for this theory, and we'll find out what it actually is in probably only like a week or two. Because if you if you if you do not know, Sons of Gamelon is out. Um, I don't know where it's out, but you can watch on YouTube if you want to. I've seen the first three episodes so far, and I just thought. So I have a theory about the baby, the little baby that Cole's carrying on his back in Sons of Gamelon, and about who that is, and I decided I'm gonna put it out today before. It's actually re revealed who that baby is, and then so yeah. I hope you enjoy. Now I'm prob I might not be right, but as you, I will be used the co the two people that I think it could be are people that a lot of people suspect. But my my proof for this, I. I have, so far, so far, I haven't seen anywhere else. If you see, um, the other theory that has the same kind of proof as this, tell me. that I watch it? And I might. I don't know. But I'm also. I will do a an anal analysis trailer on analysis on the trailer, the quiet one, because I spotted something in that small. I just I want to see what you think about it, and I'm also this a lot. I'm going to be starting up a stop motion channel, so I'm working on it right now. I'm working on the mini film at the moment, but the first trailer for it, for like what I'm going to be doing, it's like those stop motion animations. And the first trailer for it, I'll upload on this channel, and now the rest you can find on the other channel. I do not have the other channel wait ready yet, so. I'll when I release the trailer of it, I'll tell you the name of the channel if I don't know what it is yet. But now a lot of people have been very intrigued by like many ninja fans are intrigued by who is ba that little baby person or the little baby that calls Kai on his back in season eight in some of the images. Now, before we get into people, I'm going to say a few stuff that will apply to both characters that I say. Okay, now first thing, we know it's a boy because A, looks like a boy, well, it basically is a boy, and B, the voice. We're going to be taking the voice into consideration as well and yeah now the first person I'm doing is one that a lot of people have kind of done and that's oh, that's Galmadon now a lot of people suspect the person getting resurrected oh sorry about that could be um Lord Galmadon because things called Sons of Gamelon. And I think it could be, but if you if you see the resurrect the Temple of Resurrection set, you see that in it it comes with the baby. But it also comes with it. Um Lord Gamelon. So to take that into consideration as well. But what I why I think it could be Lord Gamelon is because <laughs> okay. So if you think about this, if they were to resurrect Gamelon, he would be a good guy. Wait, now listen to me for a second, because so what I think is if this is Gamelon. And this could possibly be Galmadon. Then this is Galmadon, and this 
So if this if that little child is Gowron, think about it. when when Gowron turned evil because he got bit by the Great Devourer. So if he's resurrected, he hasn't been bit by the Great Devourer yet, meaning he's good. So what I think it could be going on is because maybe we'll have if Lord Yalan comes back and we'll also have apart from just Lord Gamon coming back, we'll have a younger Lord Gamon coming back. So a good Lord what I think could happen in the end could be good Lord Gamon versus Evil Lord Gamera. Do you get what? Do you, because Gamera is not evil. He doesn't get when he if he's resurrected, he hasn't got bitten by the Great Devourer yet. That's good. So he's not evil. So if he's resurrected, he's not a villain. He's a good guy. So he's he gets resurrected, and he's a good guy, and they bring back evil Lord Gamera as well. He's a bad guy, which obvious. So, what I what I think basically could happen is we could have Lord Gowron fight. Well, Lord Gowron. Now, that may sound kind of confusing or like. I don't, I don't know, maybe like, wait, how can Lord Gamera fight Lord Gamera I don't know, that wouldn't be good. Because, like, Lord Gamera, Lord Gamera, we know, is evil. But if he's resurrected, he doesn't get bit by the snake, by the Great Devourer, meaning he's not evil. So we could have good going on versus evil going on. And that, that could be what happens, but also might not be. But yeah, like now the other person I think, and a lot of people think this character as well is Wu. Now the reason I'd say Wu could be the reason Wu could be the child is because well A Wu's they kinda need Wu back because so far in this se in the season no it doesn't seem to be doing a great job being a sensei. To me, he seems like still he's part of the team. He still seems like he's still one of the ninjas. Which he should seem like a sensei. Like that line from the Ninjago movie where Sensei Wu said, Walk a p the path that only the son of Gaumaron can walk. And that's, I think that's it. That's that's very, I, li I like that line. But if, if it's Wu, we think, now here's what, what I have to back up, that's Will. There's a, there has to be, this is, now I don't think it's Galvaron as much because of this. There has to be a reason that Cole is carrying the child. Because it's like, why would Cole carry Galvaron? Wouldn't it make more sense if Lloyd carried Galvaron? But, if it's Will on the other hand, it would make sense that Cole wouldn't carry him because Cole looks up to Wu and Cole's been missing Wu a lot. But Cole hasn't been missing Gamma on this so we could see that side of it like that Wu Cole is probably kind of there because it's Wu and he is like probably going to because it's Wu, so it, if it was Wu, it would explain why Cole's carrying it. And also the fact that 
this is bringing in new fans from Ninja Gaiden movie. So the Ninja Gaiden movie fans have gotten to know Wu a lot in the movie. So it wouldn't make much sense to them if Wu just wasn't in the whole season. He disappeared. Then you to go watch the other seasons of the show. But it could just be a totally random character, but I don't I don't think it will be. And also if it's Wu, we could have this whole brand new character dynamic which has Wu which Wu because think about it, they resurrect Wu Wu. This is that's not actual Wu, this is a different Wu. Because Wu is still out there somewhere. He's travelling across time. They could they could be um kind of long in ways from the resurrected Wu. And then real Wu could come back and we may see see with young Wu. Like the one who's trained Ma and all them. Which to me is the best version of Wu. And well, the old the normal Wu we know and love a lot like but yeah, that's just who I think could be the child. It could, it could also be. No, I don't know who it is. It seems like another thing that makes me feel it could be Gamaron is just the voice. If you watch, I think I don't know which trailer it is, but one of the trailers has the voice, and it, it I don't know. The voice just sounds very like Galmadon, but dif different. But yeah, in probably t tomorrow I'll have a the video up with the Quiet One analysis trailer. And in a while, I'll probably after I upload the analysis trailer of the Quiet One, I'll probably just suck in getting to more work for the stop motion channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you've any suggestions on theories that I should do any questions from Ninjago you do not know the answer to and you want to see what my answer could be, please leave them in the comments and I will try my best to think of them an answer to your theories or think of an explanation. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and until next time, peace out.